<laughs> doing the slap at dance and crawling under. Yeah, see, the there he goes again. <laughs> Knock it off. Which is fine when I don't have to be serious, but when I'm sitting and trying to do a serious wine tasting and he's doing the slap at dance. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Because you guys are like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nate. So the next one is 60 hour day, right? Oh, yeah, it's smart. Yeah. That's great. No, yeah. we'll keep, let's keep upping good. it. No. Yeah. It's 35 hours. towards the end is you're like cracking out. Oh, I yeah. asked specifically yeah. to come at the she end because I knew that that would be the best time, time to see it in its yeah. most raw state. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I think we're more refined now than we were like. We actually are. This I saw you, when you guys were, when, when I saw you on the couch in your pajamas, yeah. I was like, and it went, you were only into it at that point for what, seven or eight hours? Yeah. When I was watching, I was like, that was hard then. I was like, ooh. But we had a pre-record <laughs> at the mayor's office at 11. Right. And he got up at 5 and I got up at 6. Yep. And we had been going and going and we, I went to sleep late. Yeah. And you were here. And there's the anticipation that makes it yeah, harder Mike, to sleep. Yeah, no, I didn't Mike need to wake up at 6. and I were here at I just, five. oh, I couldn't go back to sleep. Tonight, so. Yeah, no, I went out and had dinner with my dad. <laughs> the night before, but you know, I still couldn't sleep. I was still at home until the last minute trying to work out scheduling issues and figure out where things went and blah 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 and yeah. until in, until yesterday morning uh, they didn't even know where they were going to put certain things because the band stage changed yep. and yep this is a great space for this too fantastic folks space. watching online who haven't been down can't can't see it can't really appreciate it but yeah, it's, it's a nice different space when you see it there's a lot of room so yeah. yeah and it was fun to watch the bands the bands they were, were amazed. i was amazed because a lot of them were people that we had no idea what to expect from them yeah I mean, you go and you check them out on, on the internet and you hear it, but there's a big difference between hearing a recording and hearing someone live. There, there's a band that we just featured on Live at 7 mm -hmm. that I would like to suggest. Mm -hmm. How, right here right here on the show. Let's live the, let's online. Let's just start the next schedule right now. I think right you guys, now. correct let's me if I'm right wrong, now. but I think it's Ruby Hill, and they're from Vancouver, and uh -huh. we just featured them on Live at 7, and that guy's got pipes, and he's super yeah. cute, too. Oh, cool. So, All yeah. right, Ruby Hill. Yeah. I, we have a list of things. He probably doesn't want to be described as cute. Yeah. But sorry, we I'm 35. I'm a mom. Check it out. <laughs> He's I younger still, than me. He's cute. You know, like Target for Tomorrow just blows Man, me away. Man, Target for Tomorrow and the Horns of Destruction. Yeah. We knew that they were going to be awesome we going into were, it, yeah. but there was no... Oh, yeah, I, saw those guys I should probably take a second. The horn section They were just, phenomenal. They they they're like, were they're phenomenal. like a young Oingo Boingo or what? Crazy Apes. Crazy Apes. We talked about. Yeah, like it's they're just... just they got that huge horn yeah. sound, and we were really lucky to have them and as the house band. They were amazing, and they were with us from seven until midnight yep. last night, and yep. they just they were amazing. They yeah. just kept really going impressive. and going. They they picked up the Strange of Life theme on the fly and played it for me. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And you know, you want to know the one secret we learned to, well, throughout this whole thing? DJs build viewers. DJs. People the love highest, the DJs. The highest viewership, I think, we figured out is like 6:35 or or 7:35 or 7:40 mm -hmm. was was with Chris. Was when uh, Chris, which he goes by DJ Chris Coda, mm -hmm. was spinning from six to eight in, in the morning. morning. Yeah. And so like the East Coast crowd, I think, came around. Oh, cool. And we had a ton of people watching. Are we getting a guest? Is someone kind of come over and talk to us in his jacket? Oh. oh. No. Oh. He looked hey, like he hey, looked. Hey. He put a jacket on. He Get looked like he might be guy. handsome. Oh. Oh no, he's nope. grabbing a board. Oh. Are we gonna get a dog? He's been up this home? whole time as well. No, I sent him home. Oh, did you? Uh, I I actually Good said, woman. and with the Pete is a sneaky devil. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. I said that the technical crew all had to sleep at some point because they were doing detail-oriented right. things, where right. Rick and I were just being prima donnas. Right. And we just had to, you <laughs> yes. know. That takes a lot of energy, it does being take a, a prima donna. It does. Yeah. Okay, it thank does. you. But it's not, like, it's, it's not like we have to clip. Actually, that's not true. We do our own sound. We do our own microphones and all that stuff. Yeah, and I know. Okay, our what, own camera wait, work, but whose idea was it to do all the outfit changes? That was a treat. And by the we, way, your room back there where you actually um, have all your clothes completely exploded. Yes. Yeah. It's closed everywhere. It's like yeah. a tornado hit. It is, yeah. because the last couple of wardrobe changes were like, like yeah. 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 No, it doesn't so, really. Uh, so we decided early on that I should have a bunch of wardrobe changes, and yep. Rick's wife suggested that there be a pool. Mm -hmm. a, a what? To, a pool to see how, how many, many wardrobe, wardrobe changes oh. I have. Okay. But then Ann Bocci offered to sponsor my wardrobe and yeah. uh, lend me some amazing clothing. That's cool. So except for the startup t-shirts. Except for the startup t-shirts and the pajamas, mm -hmm. the clothing 
has been Anne Bocci's boutique, which is that's really cool. Where's that? In Multnomah Village, and she's amazing. And the clothing that she stocks in there. Lots of different sizes. Phenomenal. The curvy girl asks, and by curvy I mean at least 15 pounds heavier than I should be. Anyway. My mom asked me to tell you how how hot you look. Oh, tell her I said thank you, please. I will. I will. It's it's you know. But my mom loves you, you know. and you look gorgeous, and you just you It is what it is. But there's a lot gorgeous. of boutiques I walk into, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah. No, I was a little nervous mm-hmm. about that, but not gonna she, uh, <laughs> no, Anne's not gonna fit. amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we were really lucky to find yeah. her. And at some point in these last two hours, we should really find time to, I mean, I'll need to grab a laptop to do it, but we should really run through Sponsors the amazing again. list of sponsors who all came together to help pull this together. Everything from you know what I would like to do, yeah. and I don't care what they think. I would like to bring the volunteers up to just yeah. have them come up one at a time oh, and yeah, say, yeah. "Hey, thank you, so and so, etc. and so on." Yep. So let's start. What do we? What do we got? I can Santa for Dr. Normal. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're kicking you off, Don. Thanks, Santa. Hi, Don. Bye, Don. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Talk so to you on Twitter. Yeah. So See you soon. Help. Don't forget to donate. Thanks, He's right. Don. Thank nice you, Don. Really Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Bye. You're a rock star. High five. Oh. Dr. Normal. Nice. Nicely done. Hi. 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 You look nice. You look good. So, uh, Have you rested recently? <laughs> Did you know, send you home when those you? loud bands play, uh-huh. I'm jumping up and down there getting I energy. Can I tell you guys He starts a, a mosh pit yes. in the production area Secrets when the are bands good. are playing. Last night we sent him home. For a tiny bit. For a tiny Which, bit. But for he good didn't reason. Sleep, for good though. reason. Right. But he didn't. Sl- instead of sleeping, he was sending me love tweets on DM love Are you tweets. Serious? I had to go <laughs> pick up the keyboard. Thing ever. He had to go home and pick up a and keyboard. And watching Mugasha. The only reason yeah. he kind of yeah, agreed yeah, yeah, to go yeah. home DJ was because he had to pick up a keyboard. And so he went home and instead of sleeping, he tweeted a bunch of people and then he was sending me DMs, little love note DMs. That's right. How, so you didn't sleep much, if at all. So how I, I really didn't fall asleep. No, I laid in bed thinking I'm not going to fall asleep. So you realize you will probably spend the he entire day tomorrow. He's totally like, taking a nap. Really oh, we need to pack up. I know him very well. Yeah, we well. need to come back and break down. Yeah, tomorrow. no, we're going to no, we're gonna go home and go to sleep, and then tomorrow we all have to come back here. Maybe we can call that piano player up that we had all day and see yeah, if that, he'll help us pack up. Ah, producer Aaron. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. I just can't Believe stop me. calling him producer Aaron because I'm trained. That's what I call him. Producer Mike, <laughs> producer Mike, producer Nate, producer Joe, producer Aaron. So half the time it was like, hey, producer Aaron, you play another song for us. And I call him producer Aaron just so people know what his role is on the show. So yeah. I, and every, I mean, people watching yeah. online know who Aaron is, but people yeah. watching at home, yeah. they don't, they they don't, don't know. interact with him on Twitter, so they don't know. Well, know. it's also helpful because knowing that Hockley was around um, part of the Whose day. Whose photos, A. Hockley on Twitter, by mm-hmm. the way, his Flickr stream, you've taken some nice shots, my yeah. friend. Yeah. So yeah. knowing that he was around, too, it just made it easier to do producer Aaron. Right. So right, right, some, some clear, clarity. Yeah. I have to ask, is this some hipster religious programming we're doing right here, right now? Yeah, we're on a sort prom. Of at the, we went to prom The wide shot. So. This is our prom. Okay. I never went to prom. So uh, I'd like to do something <laughs> right now. This is my prom, but I don't dance, so you're safe. Don't you don't dance? Uh, even in an altered state? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I was that's going a, to say. That's different. Okay. I, I like it that you different. picked up on my, my phrase. That's my favorite. It's in now going to stick. State, yeah. I will try to like do a little trade. Because it could mean anything. Out. It could mean I haven't slept for 72 hours. Right. Right. It doesn't have to mean any breeze. Have a glass of light this <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Uh, yes. I'd, I'd like to do something right now. I'd like to take this segment yes. and do something. Okay, okay. what would you like so to do? So if you do? bear with me and watch the monitors. Oh, look how pretty Stephanie looks. Wow, that's um, a great show. I'd like to Hi, that's me. <laughs> go tour and talk about some of the people I would love for you to do, do that. Do it. Please do Can that. we stay here? Can we stay Thank here you for while you do that? Pretty. That was very sweet. Okay, Carrie. Yes. Hello. Okay. Okay. You can ask questions. Okay. Do you, we can ask questions or you can just turn us off. And, that's right. And First, uh, Rick mentioned the Flava Flav. Uh, yes. <laughs> with, of clocks that don't work, yesterday. actually. Yes. We're not yes. sure why. Yes. And and very nice. and so if we go over here it out. They, we took them to, to this camera house. right here. Selected this tree for us. <laughs> Everybody? You can't get behind yes. it. Keep following Mikey! You. <laughs> hey. Hey, What's Mikey. your name? Mike McClure. This is Mike McClure. We have to call him Mikey. Mike. He's Mikey. Our resident Aussie. Yes. Is it sugar? Uh, I, I, well, I don't know. Wait, what? are you the one who brought the Vegemite? Yes. yes. I love Vegemite. I'm maybe oh. the only person on the planet who doesn't live in Australia who loves it. <laughs> but I do. I have, I have spare. I have spare. Nice. So this guy has been behind the camera and working for 30 hours. Yep. Yay! Yeah. Woo! I tried to tell him to sleep. He wouldn't sleep. 
couldn't have it. He's been here the whole time. Yes. Thank you. So let's move on, shall we? Cameras, lights, lights and tree donated by Lawrence Farms. Yep. Yes. So we borrowed the lights Thank from. Thank you so much. Yeah, the lights. We could, the lights were. Gordon awesome. Lawrence. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's cool for people to see with the roving camera too. That it's yeah. complicated yeah. setup. Yeah, I want to show you behind the scenes. Yeah. It's like 20 Over here, we've got wire. Aaron Hockley, Betsy from RPDX, Betsy Richter, who's been wrangling people. Thank you very much, Betsy. Let's give her a hand. Thank you, Betsy. Betsy. Daddy Chaos, learning to plug in a microphone for the first time tonight. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy Chaos. Also, it's worth noting that um, Rick and I refused to eat anything today until my dad brought us what we yeah, asked Yeah, no for. one can tell you to eat anything <laughs> until your dad tells you. It's wonderful. Uh, over here. It worked. We wanted something specific. Joe Evans, <laughs> our doorman. Yay, Joe. Yay! Yeah. Woo. Oh, my Where God. Joe. Also, what my life would have been like without Joe this weekend? Yeah. Great job running the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and also Brian Dillon. Right? Mm -hmm. Who is now also gone home. Covered yes. for Joe when Joe mm -hmm. needed to get a little rest, but he's been here most of the time. He went and worked, actually. Yeah, but. <laughs> coming back. Yeah, you were at work, right? Yeah, just went and worked and then came back. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Oh. Who do we have here? Pretty, Cammy? pretty. My beautiful, sweet <gasps> baby, baby Yay! doll, Megan Kate. Mwah, mwah. Oh, mwah. Mwah. Now, I would say what I said about Joe, what my life would have been like this weekend without Joe, except for like for weeks. Now, without Megan Kate coming oh, over to do my hair and makeup before it. we do promo stuff, she came over and did my hair and makeup stop before it. we went to see the mayor yesterday. Yeah, stop it. Tell me more. She Tell me more. She more. all of our wardrobe selections for this entire crazy oh. deal and, like, made note cards with what yeah. shoes I was supposed to wear and how I wanted to wear my hair. And then she, like, chased people away from us, went and got people for us, <laughs> filled up our water bottles, made sure that I had soda, made sure that Rick was... Breathing? Sure Rick was, was, <laughs> I don't know. Not voice. I don't know. But she she also, helped she a lot. Also, she powdered him and stuff. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. I had more makeup put on during this whole thing than <laughs> It's because I know how to put my own makeup on. And you look fantastic. And no, you no, had, I mean, you had like, Megan and I both, but it was because you were getting... I get a little Just hot. in general, I think you got powdered lights. a little you bit do, You get warm. Well, you have to... You're usually wearing more clothing than I am. <laughs> yeah. Excellent point. But you, you guys, you're lovely. We love you. Thank you. And she's been here... Just like, well, you she's know, been here. You know, the only time she left, here. she left to go to class. Yeah, that's yep. right. And to people pick up Rick's to go to class. Yeah, people only left to go. To and work. she, she's she's flunking improv class right <laughs> now because she worked Thanks on 30 hour day. day. Thank you, 30 hour yeah. day. We need to day. Please buy Megan, this girl some please? grades. Megan? May I? Tomorrow evening, Megan Kate has an improv performance. It is when and where, sweetie. It's at the Brody Theater at 5.30 p.m. My improv class is performing, so you I need to go to my see Megan. Stay up for 30 hours. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Well, You'll be she, should get, she should get credit for like what she's done. I mean, if this wasn't pure improv theater most of the time. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Do you want us to write you a note? We'll write you a note. Yeah, we'll write you a note. Yeah. Yeah. We'll write we'll write you a note. I think it's also worth mentioning that she just told me that if my babysitter is ever not available, she's my new babysitter. Nice. I love I love I love Kay. Yeah. Really? So um so if you ever need backup. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? I babysitter I know. this whole thing. On that well, note, right. thank you, Megan. With your children. Yay! And who do we have over here? <laughs> Woo, Morgan! Morgan! All right. Morgan! Hey. Morgan! Morgan! <laughs> Woo! She made this entire... Let's talk about the variety Let's show. See. The variety, variety show. show was Morgan's baby. That was yes, all Morgan. Music lover. All she had to book in her own right. She had to, had book, to book the variety show and coordinate. Oh. All the transitions and To everyone who has uh, performed during the variety Can't show, hear. I thank you for your flexibility your and your Can't patience. Hear. And if you ever ask me to reschedule at the last minute again, oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> kill you. Thank you. Nice job, Morgan. Very nice job. It was some Thank crazy you. times this afternoon. Where we were going back and forth between bands and comedy and storytelling and more bands and and duos and trios and ska bands and reggae bands and it was just crazy. Well, and we learned so. Now I know to schedule video during uh, sound checks. Yeah, yeah, I know. We, I was gonna say we learned so much. I learned doing so that thing, much today. But there was so much that you had already planned out that. 
we would have never been able to do it without your work. I mean, it, it, it would never have <laughs> Wait, shush. You shush your mouth. Shh. Nate, shut up. I they made special yeah. Thank you, Morgan. Big, big hand for Morgan. Woo! Thank you, Morgan. Woo! Morgan. Okay, you already saw over here. So the way this is laid out is uh, it, it was laid out, and I uh, really, really wanted the stages laid out in a certain way, and Rick and Cammie wanted it laid out in a different way. <laughs> and we fought about it on a whiteboard at 2 a.m. in the morning. And he does mean fought. Yeah. About a yeah. week ago. It was a huge discussion. discussion. It was, you held your it was own. pretty rough. That's good. And then uh, Joe and I, and we'll see him in a minute, uh, came in here and we listened to the acoustics and we said, we have to put this, the band in this one location, which is where Rick and Cammie wanted them in the first place. Oh. The problem is that it made the production that much harder. Can I say something? Is yes. my mic on? I've looked at the video of the bands in the space, That's, and if you it put them over cool. here, it, it was phenomenal. They looked beautiful. Yeah, it was it amazing. Great. It that has was an artistic look all its yeah. own. If you had them over here, it would look like crap. So as a result, we still <laughs> ended up with three stages over here and a fourth. So over here we have the infamous green I'm screen, which so you, if you were watching Wine oh, Geeks a little bit green. earlier, they were up against the green screen and we saw them. So we got the green screen here, which was C, um, B, the comedy storytelling area over here, mm -hmm. and then over here, the Flavor Flav tree with Rick and Cammie <laughs> and Aaron playing the piano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only if, person who really had to all the way over. Aaron, and we were okay with that. He so imagine... Imagine putting people in those three locations at various times. God, it's so pretty and well lit in here. And then, a great job. <gasps> the prom. Staging bands over Look, in this space, which is across <laughs> from all of that. A night in one. So we were going back and forth, and the front door is, if you turn around, right here. So this is where people are coming in. So it was a really tight space, and it was crazy. And. Uh, so you saw the bands come in. So we were shuttling bands across, shuttling comedians across. Sometimes they ran into each other. That's how we did it. And then, oh, yeah. we go over here. I'm trying to think of what I can do to make it crap. And this, before you do it, OK, uh, take, take this one here. Uh, this is pretty much where we're at right now. Just Steph Strickland, and we're trying to get a hold of Brian, scheduled for a remote. We oh, may yeah. or may not get a hold of him. Tell us that but you this was me yelling at people going, <laughs> please like, update sure this whiteboard constantly so the production crew knows what in the heck we're doing next. <laughs> um, over here I'm sure Joe did, he doesn't look fake. is the land of Oz. So this is where it all happened. This is the control center. It's literally in the middle of this giant space. Mm -hmm. And Pete and Joe! Woo! Hey. 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 And we also have we also Woo. have Pete. Hey guys. So uh so in the middle of, of this around. mess, as we've got people shuttling all over the place, the the three of us and sometimes a fourth are running around between all this gear trying to uh, get a band set up on this board with audio, stretching over here to queue up videos, and uh, over here uh, live streaming uh, everything with all the cameras and getting all the stages set up. So Joe Christensen, Blaze Streaming Media, awesome guy. Woo! If you want to stream Woo! something, hire him. Woo! Absolutely. You know, the, the whole idea of uh, Mike Joe and Cammie now. and, mm -hmm. and Rick uh, coming together with this crazy idea um, it was it was hard to uh, hear this, and I, I got to tell you, the first idea was not a yes. It was uh, 30 hours. Are you guys insane? She's trying to make me cry. And uh, if I, I found out that you guys are. Yeah, that's right. But uh, you you go first. Anyways, um, you know it's it's been an absolute joy. And, uh, you, no, you go. Oh, thank you. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and you get a big hug from me too. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll wear that burden. 
All right, good. Thank you. Yeah, no, you get, you're not You get the makeup on your cheek, too. That's uh, the additional bonus there. Why don't you introduce Pete for us? Okay. And this is Peter Schmidt, um, a, a young, growing producer of Lace Giving Media. She does bands and live action. And has been here um, as many hours as I have, I know. <laughs> so um, oh, between you all do of that. us, there is this uh, kind of banter and camaraderie I'm behind the scenes close. to make something like this happen. Uh, when Rick and Cammy look great, no. No, we're do doing everything uh, right. And you know what? A lot of times it's not even us when they don't look great. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I that's right. Sure that I mean, that, that is absolutely uh, what the production team is interested in. It's putting on great content for this account. event so that uh, the charities mm -hmm. and uh, the community as a whole can uh, gather around the holidays and give back. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! Do the dance. Do the dance for me, Uncle Nate. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the whole time, is that right? Or do you sneak it's off? Thirty something, thirty. What? Yeah, well, at least thirty hours now. You're here like two. Yeah. 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 Long time. Yeah. I was up, up early with my daughter today. Yeah. Yesterday morning. I did. I did. I slept for about an hour, that hour and a half. That's all I need, though. That's an awful yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, and you've been uh, tasked with just about every Whatever. position on the crew, haven't yeah. you? That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone appreciates the help. And, uh, I love doing it. It's you an know. awesome cause. And of course, when I heard that they were doing it, I just and I, I think that uh, as a, a group of people passionate about this hey, technology, the, monitors, the opportunity for us to work with the community of artists that came into this space and gave back through their craft and their art and allowed us to showcase that worldwide on yeah, Ustream yeah, TV, yeah, TV, TV uh, we're really so blessed and honored that they me. trusted it's us with their content. <laughs> um, I know that... Uh, uh, you know, the, the end purpose is to raise money, but the opportunity um, but also the opportunity for us to showcase what's happening in Portland um, is, is gr a, a wonderful experience, and, and we've had just a, a great time. And so um, I, I, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't close this with a call to action to go to Spend too many hours. Dub, 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 dub. <laughs> hour day, three zero hour day dot org. And there's uh, an auction tab. And a donate and there's button. There's plenty of information on. Uh, and a donate button. On giving. Yeah. And how you, can, how you can do that. So. And with that, we're going to throw it back over to Studio A. <laughs> and uh, let's hear some more witty banter. Oh, That's good. Funny. I've heard we have some of that. Yeah, yeah, we might get to it we sometime during these 30 hours. No telling. Oh, Megan. Oh, Megan. Yeah. Bring, Bring it on. Kleenex. Bring it. Just you know, this is a special box uh, of Kleenex that I brought from my home for Rick. And 90% of that has gone <laughs> to the sweat on my 90% <laughs> of that has gone to Rick. It was intended for your Sorry. tears of joy and yeah. gratitude. Yeah. I get nothing. Yeah. What do you... <laughs> It'll happen. What do you think of I like when she introduces the work us. that the charities are doing? Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. this is what it's all about. And I would yeah. say that all of us have been incredibly blessed in we our have. lives. We have mm -hmm. healthy families. Yeah. We have healthy children. Yeah. Good lives. And so yeah. it's time to give back. So what do you think of the particular charities that you guys selected? I think that the, the, the three charities we chose were, two of them are just the general, I mean, they are, when you think of what you need to do, how you can best give back during the holiday season, you think of people who are in need of food, and you think of children who are in need of some enjoyment. I mean, the holidays should be a time for children to have something that they can be joyful about. You know, and Toys for Tots does that. Oregon Food Bank feeds families that can't feed themselves. And then, because we are so deeply ingrained in the tech community, Free Geek was a natural choice for us as well. Yeah. It, it's heartbreaking in a way that I didn't anticipate now that I have a child thinking of children who don't have toys. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, 
when you go out and you go shopping and you're buying presents and you know the joy that your child is going to have. Yeah. We should do Christmas shopping, by the way. We should. Yeah, Just we should saying. probably get to that. <laughs> Our children don't Amazon, have any Christmas presents no. yet. <laughs> We've been, but you know, I, and so yeah. to be able to to help raise money yeah. so that Toys for Tots can make sure that children have toys under the tree. Well, yeah. and the most interesting thing about it is, and it's not ent- interesting per se. But I mean, it's kind of it was kind of startling was how confused the charities were by this offer. That they were like, we what? Wanted, we know. wanted to go earn money yeah. for you know, on their behalf and find ways to give them, to give back to the community. They were like, what are you talking what? about? Why, why would you want to do that? I and think so, Toys for Tots was the one that most easily grasped yeah. what we wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was kind of like, oh, well. It's just a new way of approaching fundraising. It, it's a way that, that conventional media does. I mean, I do a mm-hmm. telethon yep. yeah. once a year yep. with Doran Becker yeah. uh, and the Children's Miracle Network and things like that. But doing it on the web where anyone can piggyback right. for charities. That was his their, idea. That's genius. That, that, that was really Mike's is. idea. Was it, it? was Mike who caused all the problems with was all it? that extra work. Dr. Norman. Oh, I thought that was you. No, it was no, Mike. No, it was Mike? It was Mike's idea. He came to us one night and he said, instead of just doing this for Portland, let's let anybody use this. And he said, we need to record a promo so people understand what we're trying to do. And, and that does he's sound like been something behind he would say. that the whole yep. time. Yep, sounds like something he would say. Let's make things difficult so we can help people. But what a great problem to have. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Problem and, and again, Are you trying to that, find your microphone, Doc? Yeah, just keep going. Again, that thoroughly, another thing that thoroughly Oh, people, we've been denied his presence. What, you know. One of those things where we said, go ahead and use our content to, to raise money huh? for whatever charity you want to. And what? what? Why? What? what? Huh? So, what do you mean? Again. But you know, confusing. with looking towards your next 30-hour day or 60-hour mm-hmm. day, what not? Yeah, no. Um, you know, I'm going to say this. Ooh. I'm going to say this. 30-hour day has a certain ring to it. There's some yeah. branding involved. So, you know, we don't want to. hour day. We don't want to push it. Dot org URL. So somebody else can I think, buy that. I think but I think now that people. I think now that people have seen it and can grasp how it works, yeah. then you have an opportunity to directly approach people in other cities and say, now you can see it. Can you use something like this? Well, My that, guess is yes. That was another part of the the effort. I mean, this again, this took place in six weeks. I know. From con- I'm pretty awesome. From Less, I mean, six weeks from us going, from us hey, it's a good idea. Nice to we see. should do a Jerry Lewis To two telethon. weeks later oh, when we up. actually said, should we start planning that thing? Yeah. I mean, and Thanksgiving was in the middle of that, so. We and we were out of town. Week. Yeah, we lost yeah. a week. But um, we you know, just the the sheer volume of people who are interested in participating, who we would talk to, who would say, "Yeah, that makes total sense." Well, you that, need let me to be do doing something. That. Yeah, let me. What help can with I do? That. If it's just a little thing, what what can I do? And people who would be like, the mayor is a good example. He was, you know. Robert Wagner at PDX Sucks. Yeah. I, and, saw, you know, I saw I saw part of that last night. Yeah. And like, Sabrina and then two other folks who I didn't recognize. Emily and uh, Jay Mackin, thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. And the, all those Oh, sure, people, sure, okay. They were immediately He's on board. Unibash Radio yes. on Twitter? Yes, Unibash. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and those people were like dominoes that caused other things to fall into place. And I've got lids that Cammy can't deal with right now. But I, the, I can't. Um, I'm too tired to deal with it. I'm sorry. The, uh, and, the, and, and once we would, we would get a little piece of participation or sponsorship, mm-hmm. like other things would kind of start to come together. And there's the lint brush yet again. Thank you. <laughs> it's the Santa suit. It's, well, it's this everywhere. is a dirty lint piece, though. I mean. What, what would you do different, do you think, going ahead? Now that you've like learned what, what was really awesome, were there I things felt, you want to streamline? Yeah, yes. I, feel, I honestly felt like we put the production crew under some really ridiculous timelines to get this yeah. stuff figured out. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. but, but you did it. But, but, you, but. Did, you, re, you proved you could do it when we challenged you to do it. And you guys did really can start on time? Yes, we did. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's clarify something, Joe. Joe, why did we start on time? Joe, why did we start on time? Thank you very much, sir. 
Thank you very much. I, I actually said on Twitter, because when I went to the 30-hour day.org site, it wasn't, it didn't immediately load. And so I, Aaron found it on Ustream. Mm -hmm. And I said, is this ish? Is this Strange Love Live? It was ishing? not ish. What's we going started on? at 4 o'clock on, on yeah, the I, dot. Once we found you on Ustream, it was fine. Yeah. I, I didn't see you initially on the page. Now it's there, of course. Yeah. It's still going. We've got more than an hour. Is yeah. it still more than an hour? I can't see a so, clock. Okay, no. so people yeah. still need to donate. People right? still need to be donating. Right. If you Please go to 30hourday.org, there's a donate button. Mm -hmm. Donate now. My, this is my... Which, yeah, right over... Uh, they're too right, close together. There you go. Yeah, they're too close together for me to... So go to 30hourday.org, click on the donate button, go and donate. There's still auction items open. I think there's still there might still be a couple. Okay. One might be closed. I think the final one might be closing at nine. But um, the beauty of that I didn't actually intend or understand when I built the, the charity Oops. system stuff is that this is stuff we can continue to use after 30-hour day. So the auction will remain open for next week because we got some new items and some items that we couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. That money will continue to go to Free Geek, mm -hmm. any of the auction stuff. So sponsors, if you had an auction item and you're like, I didn't see that in the auction, or that, that didn't make it, or we had duplicates of some things that we didn't mm -hmm. want to put them all up there at the same time. Mm -hmm. All those things will roll out over the following week. And um, the back end we used, which is a, is a site called Causes, which is backed mm -hmm. by Network for Good, um, and is really nicely tied into Facebook, um, is something you can use, any, any person can use any mm -hmm. day of the year to raise money for practically any charity they want. Yeah. And so that will remain going for it, it, the 30-hour day going. cause will just keep going, whether we're doing the telethon or not. So, you know, you can feel free to donate to that at any time. But it would be interesting to see how much we could, we could line up before. So when people can donate, because I know sometimes when people think about donation, they think, well, if I don't have $100, if I don't have $500, I'm not going to bother. So what level of donations do you, you guys... You can donate, I think, up to anything, a dollar or not. Yes, exactly. So and it was bucks, all it was all across the board. And some people would help us even stuff out. So, um, you know, we got to... At one point, I think we got to $2,984, and somebody donated $16. Just so, so we it could would get be even, yeah. Cool. And so just, you know, whatever you want to do. We have BMW on remote. Let's... Take a break. We've They're got BMW. Okay. Like hey, Brian. I'm gonna put them up on your. Uh... How are you holding out? Great. It's all adrenaline now, buddy. How are you? Yeah. Uh, well, I think Stephanie is there as well. Stephanie, say hi. Oh, I get to talk to Tammy Cleavage. <laughs> yes. I mean, everyone. Everyone's being remarkably civilized, Brian. They really are. I was uh, expecting something to go a little uh, wonky crazy, and that's just not happened. I'm just trying not to snuggle everybody. What? I said I'm trying not to snuggle with everybody. I'm feeling very... <laughs> I'm feeling very <laughs> lucky. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much, sweetie. In, enjoy the last couple of hours, and we'll talk to you soon, all right? Okay. All right. Bye, all right. sweetie. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, Brian. Bye, guys. And, and, and thanks to the entire crew for making it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Again, Brian says thanks, to, thanks to all of you. Thank you and so much. And Megan Case says she loves you. <laughs> Yay. All right. Bye, he, sweetie. He really nailed it. Watching his remotes yesterday from the vlog. He did a great blog. job. Oh, my goodness. They were, so, he, they were a lot of fun to watch. There were so many times where we were like, I hope Brian can stretch it, and he would just keep <laughs> he going. Just, he was like, do I need to wrap? No? Oh, nope. hey. Keep All going. Right. Yeah, let's talk some that, more. That's my guy. Yeah. So we're at $3,340 right. so Woo! far. Excellent. Very nice. Great job, folks. Very nice. That makes so, me very happy. That makes me happy as well. So. And we also have a barrel of toys um, yep. at the Green Dragon. Cool. The Beer and Blog cool. folks really came out and brought a bunch of food and a bunch of toys. So. We didn't do much for physical donations. The no. the original idea, the original, the, yeah. yeah, the original concept was that we were actually going to host beer and blog here, 
And then it became obvious that with so many stages and so much production, that that, that wasn't way. feasible. So we, the Green Dragon was very willing to, to continue to host beer and they blog. They were a fantastic and, sponsor and for us. very helpful in that regard in um, you know, helping get the donations. Were and you looking at yourself? I was. Yeah. I, I, I had a close up. You I look very dashing. I know. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> I know. Just saying. So, we've got ooh, less than 90 minutes. Oh my. I feel like I, I let, let me go get a laptop so we can run through all the sponsors okay. and what they did because okay. I think I think everybody I think needs you should some go. recognition. Somebody follow follow Rick. Don't follow me. I'm Something. going into the exploding dressing room <laughs> back here. There's probably so like see the socks socks and really there. Okay, so how many outfits did you manage to? I don't put know. Yourself into? Let's think. Megan, can you help me out? There was I saw the pajamas. So does the mayor's interview count because that was Yeah, that counts. Okay. So even if it was pre-taped it counts. One. Pajamas. Bachi. Yeah. Did I wear all the and Bachi? 12. I think I did. Yeah. Some of it twice. But although, like the black shirt with the white piping, I wore twice. Yep. And my the Hitchcock dress I also wore twice because hello. So. so so far we're like 14ish. We, if there you count the doubles because she still changes. had to change. There was so. a lot of wardrobe changes. A lot, a lot yeah. of wardrobe changes. I did. I changed a lot. We'll have to go through the footage someday and. You're like Sunday, not anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think there is footage of that. Hopefully, but yeah, if there's there like. Might be. <laughs> this super quick. Megan, Megan, Megan. This is the hardest thing because this required special underwear. Really? Yeah, that, the strap. Well, the bra. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it required a I'm special bra. I'm looking to see where the straps would go. Yes, they don't. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where. <laughs> so yeah, this is. Yeah. What about you, Rick? What? The tuxedo. I saw your pajamas. Yes. They looked like maybe flannel. They were flannel. flannel. No, I didn't. Cammy and Morgan picked those out. Yeah, I didn't want to get in flannel because I was afraid that six, the flannel would be too warm. Okay. So mm -hmm. they they weren't flannel. Yeah. So I had. I had the mare, yeah, and then two more. Well, pajamas, and then we changed up. Yeah, I mean, we just took your sweater off and had yeah, you wear yeah, just the shirt right. and the Santa so, Oh, I forgot the Santa Seven. Yeah. So I had maybe twice as many as he did. Yeah. Yeah. Rick, tell me about your bracelet. Uh, that is a, I don't know if you guys can see that thing, but I wear it all the time. It's a, it's a designer called, her name's Jill Platner. And she does everything. It's Gore-Tex and silver, so it doesn't break. And uh, she does everything. She lives half the time in New York and half the time in uh, Mexico, so everything's kind of natural. Kind of stuff. How Never seen it? without it. Yeah. Well, about five, six years. I used to buy my wife a lot of that stuff. And, and oh, my lo I had to take my locket off. Do it doesn't work with the tuxedo. We'll yeah, get there. Yeah, it fit. We have. Yeah. yeah. So. That's yeah. right, because when you're wearing your pajamas, I think I saw a lock on that wrist too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah, had, had it on the, the other wrist. And I saw lock. Will in his Snuggie. Yes. 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 Oh, it was not sorry, a Snuggie. It was a Snuggie. Yes. Right. Yeah, he exactly. says he will never wear a Snuggie. Yeah. Ever. Because it's the cheap imitation, is that what he was saying? I have no idea. Oh, I don't okay. listen to crazy saying. talk like that. He just has. The Snuggie like freaks morally me out. morally opposed to the Snuggie. They kind of both, I mean, I've got a bathrobe that functions quite well in the same capacity. Yeah. I have a kimono. And a bathrobe. I don't need a slanket or. Where a do you wear your kimono? Uh, when Megan Kate puts makeup on me. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Oh, Rick got to wear it. I get to wear it briefly. That's very Hollywood. Yeah. I wear yeah. my kimono when Megan Kate puts makeup on me. Cammy's kimono. Yeah, yeah I, I did, yeah. threw it over him because I didn't want to get powder on his tux. Backwards. Yeah. Exactly. I wore it backwards. That's right. Yeah. Or like kids wear when they're doing art and they put on the big shirt. <laughs> the smock. Oh, yeah. that's kind of how I did. It. <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> So I thought I would, I've got the list of sponsors, just kind of run through all Good. of them and, and kind of explain why they're on there and what they did. Seventh Planet Picture Show we just talked yep. about. Will was kind mm -hmm. enough to do film research, come down here, run the and film And he also us. promoted us at both the Seventh Planet Picture Shows yep. leading up to the event. Yep, and was very helpful in that regard. A-Boy, I don't know that they ever actually made them on there, but they donated lights and stuff for our tree. 
Um, and I'll throw one in. They don't actually have a website, so they can't appear on the link list, but Lawrence, Lawrence Farms, tree Farms was kind enough who, to donate Who donated tree. the tree and let us borrow and the lighting light here. That was nice. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they were very, very helpful in that regard. Um, bacon. Yeah, bacon. Scott's. Bacon. Scott's Venture. Bacon came this morning, cooked everybody breakfast. Hey, how are Pete's omelets? Okay, Pete Grillo. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Pete Grillo omelet. from Interazi was here as well. He cooked omelets for us. And Pete, um, again, he was another one of those people that was immediately like, yeah. what can I do? Need, what can I do? Let's do it. How, do you, how would you describe Interazi to people who haven't heard of it before? Uh, it's so fascinating to me. Yeah, it's uh, basically a way of archiving a web page as it currently exists forever so and and keeping it continuing to be a functional web page so right. it's not like a picture or a screen grab it's like you can actually continue to use it which when you really think about the way information is moving and how transient the web can be exactly is really valuable because no longer will we have these sort of great dead tree historical records that you can collect right. And manipulate and copy and microfiche. What that's yeah. so Ooh. 1980. I looked at microfiche. Right. For quite a while. So that's so awesome. a company like that I find yeah. fascinating as yeah, a way yeah. to sort of yeah. And keep Pete track is your information. you know another thing I love about Pete is he is there are a couple people in town who are really really good mentors for startups mm -hmm. and um, that's his thing too. <laughs> Pete is one of those guys. Ray there. King is another one of those yeah. guys, and yeah. they do a phenomenal job with taking new startups under their wing and helping them figure out what to do. And and Kavit and, and Pete have grown incredibly close through through Kavit who makes a given. mean pizza. Yeah. That yeah. man, that yeah. man yeah. knows yeah. how to make a pizza. Yeah. Pizza. And yeah. not between half the two of those men, <laughs> you just get you you're can't get, get you won't go hungry yeah. actually. <laughs> okay. I've um, had both of them. I want to hit our uh, our main coffee. I'm looking 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 St. John's Coffee Roasters, I wanted to hit them first because they provided all the coffee we were drinking, mm -hmm. all the equipment for making that coffee. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And McClure was the man who was putting all that stuff together and manning the stuff. Hockley I know that says L-I, but can yeah. you make it look, it like, look it. like an L-I? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know. I about read that off the teleprompter. <laughs> I was like, well, so I, I called him that before, but you, never oh, on yeah, air. That's just I, I am. am. I usually talk to him that pictures. way. What kind of show is this? Yeah. Um, and then we had another, we, and so the coffee stuff was amazing, kept a lot of the crew awake and a lot of folks going. We had another coffee roaster who wanted to participate. They donated beans and that kind of thing. We'll get those on the auction. Those mm -hmm. didn't quite make it on, uh, and that was BJ's Coffee Roasters. Okay. Blue Hour gave us dinner oh, on dinner Friday, Friday night. night. Mm -hmm. Made Fantastic. dinner for everybody, wow. and they were, they were very helpful in that regard. Comcast is the only reason you're seeing this yes. right now. There's no way this would be streaming. We'd just be sitting here talking to ourselves in an echo chamber Comcast, <laughs> for 30 Com hours. Comcast not only uh, donated a pipe that is really, really fast so mm -hmm. that we could get the content up there. Yeah. They, yeah, they donated. It would just hit blue hour. So, yeah, we'll get that. Um, but uh, they also made sure we had a tech on call at any moment in case... There was a problem with the stream or the or how fast That's it was going. That's really cool. So, and then they also gave us money. I mean, they were they are the premier sponsor for yes. this event. And so, thanks Comcast. Thank you, thank Comcast. You. You're Comcastic. Cool. Cool. They are Comcastic. Uh, I know. Let's see. Couldn't food help geeks. It. I'm tired. I'll it's good. It's yeah. good. Food geeks who came and and shared their wine with us mm -hmm. through the wine geek stuff. How was that? You guys did a, like a wine tasting. Yeah. I missed that. That Ryan, was, was Ryan's fantastic. Ryan's amazing. Ryan like, is amazing. He the, his knowledge of wines. Have you met Ryan? No, staggering. I don't know that I have. What's hey, his Ryan. Twitter handle? Ryan, Ryan, come, come on here. over here, please. For a I moment. do like how I ask what his Twitter handle is because that truly. Ryan Snyder. It happens to be his name, which is yeah, one of Ryan those Snyder. Kind of things. This Hi. is Ryan. This is so Food Geek. Nice to meet you. you. Yes. Nice to meet you. Oh, we should get you a microphone. Yeah. Can we have a, can can we have have a, a mic for Ryan? Thank you. Thank and, you, Tom. And then let uh, Dr. Normal know that it's on. Yeah, Doc. Can we turn on Ryan's mic? Cool. Thank you. Nice. Get on it. So, so you're with, what, what is it called? Food Geeks. Food Geeks. And Wine Geeks. Wait on mic. I love that. They because we're saying our, we're hearing our mic is not bit. ready. Oh, the mic's not ready? I think they're working on it, so stand by, as they say. 
What does Paul say? Oh my god, I'm yawning. No, uh, no not the yeah, yawning. You're you, are, the yawn. you have 70 minutes. I am so close. I'm so, so, close. so, 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 so yeah. close to going home and curling up in my big bed. And, you, and I've seen you tweet more than once okay. how much you I'm enjoy your I bed. I love my bed. <laughs> right, my right. bed is like my favorite place ever. Okay, Ryan. All right, okay, okay. So, uh, Food Geek and Wine Geeks, what gave you the idea to do this? Well, it's it's something I've had around. It's a project that's been around for about 10 years now. Okay. And um, so I sold a business back in 1998 uh, called CramSession.com. And I just loved to cook. And I thought, you know, I really just want to have a place where I can put my own recipes, categorize them, and organize them. So and, reading and between share the lines, them. you sold your company for a small fortune that enabled you to pursue your passion. <laughs> well, I was pursuing <laughs> like my passion. No that. I was pursuing <laughs> my passion until the dot-com bust happened in 2000. Okay. Took a few years off and then just kind of kept the site around and then eventually kind of came back to it uh, 10 years later. So it's kind of a fun thing that's always been a passion, always been kind of a side project, and now is a little bit more in the forefront at the moment. So, so like, obviously it's evidence from the name, but how does it work for folks who are maybe watching online who haven't heard of it before? Well, foodgeeks.com is a recipe sharing website. So there are 10,000 recipes that have been submitted by, you know, fun. food geeks around this. the nation. Um, and then Wine Geeks is essentially a, a wine information and review site. So you can taste a wine, review it on the site, and kind of Is it find full of the normal kind of terms that are hard for me to understand, like leather and smoke and <laughs> things that I just don't ever taste in wine? He uses them, but he's, he's pretty... Could you make it like accessible for simple. folks like me? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think, I think the whole point is to make wine accessible and make it real. And if we're using a bunch of terms that nobody gets, then we're not really helping anybody. We're only like patting our own back. So I think I think that's the whole goal the is to, to find wines that are accessible. I mean, today we were talking about bang for buck wines. You know, twelve dollar yeah. price point yep. that are um, that are typically in wine shops, but just are, are a little more difficult to find. So to bring those kind of terms to the light. Those, uh, those wine regions or the grapes that maybe we haven't heard of before. That are up and coming. Getting yeah. ahead of the curve, isn't that the genius thing? E exactly. Do you have a big wine cellar at home? Um, I have a decent wine cellar. It's something that uh, I rate far too often. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> so. I can't keep a wine cellar. I don't even try. Right. <laughs> Is that bad? Should I? Anyway. Uh. <laughs> it, it's, it's a bad problem to have or a good problem a to good have, problem. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Did you build it special or is it just like a nice, like, little refrigerator or like it's, a rack, essentially? For me, it's just, it's just Ikea racks nice. right now. Yeah, I, nice. I figured just kind of as a minimal effort as possible and just to make sure, like the important things are, are to have um, a steady temperature down there yeah. and to make sure that um, that it's, it's um, you know, not crazy humidity. There's, it's not a flooding basement or anything like that. So as long as you have like... <laughs> so your bottles aren't floating in the water. Right, exactly. The <laughs> Oopsie. Exactly. Um, so as long as you take care of the basics, then you're somewhere? okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand. Do you have weird... Oh, there... <laughs> He's like, ah, never mind. <laughs> well, forgive me. Where's someone, you someone tell over it. There. If you, you want us to do it. something, we'll do it. No, we, we'd like to look at some photos. Oh. Okay. Do you want to change the batteries out during that? I'd like to change the batteries Okay. So, okay. Okay. I, okay. Okay, so now we understand so, Betsy's done. So let me jump to that. Thank you, because I was really curious about what you were up to. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. I'll follow you on Twitter. I apologize. I'll Twitter stalk you now. Thank you so much. Foodgeeks.com and There's a special five things, though. And the one we want to jump to is the guy we always call on first when we need photos for any of our events around here, Aaron Hockley, who has donated his services not only to shoot untold hours of footage, but um, to come and eat some pies during the yes. Pie Champ competition yes. as well. And he managed to get out of bed and come back around and do it again and shoot photos again today. Yeah. So we should... Um, come on. Come on up. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come on in here. We have a microphone for you. I know you prefer to be behind the camera. I love that you have two cameras. The camera. what, why do we... What I'd like to know is what do we use the two different cameras for? Is one of them for Rick and one of them for me? Yes. <laughs> yes. There's the male private camera right there. I want no photos of camera. We have the, yeah. the male camera and the female camera. <laughs> no, it's uh, simply I have two different lenses on it. One's a wide-angle lens. One's more of a telephoto lens, and so I can quickly switch back and forth between the two without yeah, having wow. to swatch swap lenses. Uh, yeah, actually, both of the bodies are identical. So. Nice. What are you shooting on text? I am shooting a pair of uh, Canon 40Ds. Um, for the super technical Cute. people, there's not a ton of light in here, so I'm at ISO 800. Um, 
this. You yeah. know that I have, and I've asked him this before because he does. You do occasionally sort of um, photography, almost not quite tutorials, but you get together with your with folks on Flickr and mm-hmm. you sort of help educate and inspire. And as someone who is lives in the world of point and shoot, but who is very interested in learning something new, you are on my list. You know that, right? Yeah, that's one of the recurring questions I get asked is, you know, I, I, someone has a point and shoot camera and they're interested in uh, you know, getting a DSLR or jumping into that world is, you know, where should they start? And uh, I bought Joe Donlin's old camera. That, that's okay. how I got yeah. started. Joe, Joe knows uh, photography. Know. He does. So. Um, but, you know, the reality that I tell people is that, you know, 90% of the cameras out there are better than 90% of the photographers, and so True. it's not a big, important decision as to exactly which camera you get if you're just starting out. And so I usually tell people to go with, like, a $500 kind of entry-level, um, you know, DSLR and find out whether or not you really like it um, before you go dump a ton of money into it. And the other thing is with a, you know, DSLR, your lenses end up becoming a bigger investment than the camera body itself, so... But I think we're going to take, a, we want to take a look at some of Aaron's photos that he took. I'm during, excited during the event. Yeah. They're amazing. I saw a few of them move on the Flickr stream. So, yeah, uh, I think he that, tweeted, someone tweeted a link yesterday. Yeah. I was doing a 30, yeah. uh, hashtag yeah. amazing. Rio. So, so Chris, some great photos. Very nice. I've been told I'm supposed to narrate the photos. So they're moving fast. So they're moving like fast. So, left. yeah, we have Rick. <laughs> this was one of the earlier photos. Uh, that would be Joe doing some production work last night. We had a couple Marines from the Toys for Tots program that came as part of the kickoff and talked with Cami and Rick about the program and what we we're doing. Uh, Rabbi David Kaminsky was here last night. We lit a menorah for Hanukkah. That was One Moment, one of the bands we had last night. Joe Evans, our bouncer, outside the door looking very bouncer-like. We had Court, Fat Boy, Mike, and uh, that was one of our bands, Target for Tomorrow from last night. There's Court. And Fat Boy. Yeah, no, he's not at all. There's Court and Fat Boy along with Mike from the Oregonian. Very normal. That is Culture Pulp, yes. This was Target for Tomorrow with the horns. They were excellent last night. I know. Joe in his element they running the show. The one name, not both. More Target for tomorrow. The horns of destruction. You know, Cammy, where you sit, where you stage the bands looks really good. Thank wow, you. Yeah, hey, I know that Thank man. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's 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 right there. yeah, that should be his new avatar. Is awesome. That, yeah, that is. You won't mind if he uses it on Twitter, will you? Kimberly. <laughs> uh, Kimberly running one of the cameras last night. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Mike. Our Aussie boy. Mick sitting right where he is, Amy. Uh, Amy during she Strange Love Live. No, no, she was just... There's BMW, BMW, Brian Westbrook working hard while he was in the studio. There's Rennie. Rennie. Hey, it's me. Look at you. Like it's the thing that he Rick guy. Guy. Hey, it's Cam. Oh, I love that dress. outfit in a Hitchcock I dress. That. I, love, I that. love that dress. That's my favorite. I know him. Lock there's it Scott from Lock It To You, yes. The and there's the pajamas. You look so cute. There's Will, Will, Will. Will Raddick. <laughs> That's my Jason, favorite moment Cammie right there. The Jason and I doing the hair. The slanket. The slanket. The slanket. That almost had a Buddy Christ look to why it. Why are the shoes right of my shoes? And why are, they, shoes. Yeah, <laughs> why are there pictures of my shoes? There's a picture of your shoes There's because Oxley. Nate Angel wanted a picture of your Oxley. shoes, and you can work that out with him this later. This is the greatest shot of those guys. I love that. He appreciates Amazing. good shoes. I appreciate a man who appreciates good shoes. I believe it was actually for Heather. Nate. Wanted a picture. Oh, my oh God. God. Oh, wow. Look at you. Who is that guy? Hello. Curtis. Oh <laughs> That's uh, Curtis <laughs> Chen who read to us last There's oh, Aaron. Producer Aaron. Producer Aaron. Aaron. I haven't Why? seen any of these now. I haven't seen anything from today. That was Miriam who... Did a Robin, Robin who was incredibly helpful, Amazing. came back. And, uh, <gasps> hey, it's Morgan. Morgan! It's Morgan running the variety Woo! of shows. There we are. Oh. It's those two people again. Yeah, there's a lot They're of in a lot guys. of those photos. Uh, With the Pete Krebs Pete trio, trio earlier today. This guy was and phenomenal. Amazing. Yeah. Daryl Lee, oh he was goodness. excellent. Amazing. Go ahead, Doc Normal getting a little rested. 
Okay, what are they holding up cards for? I know the regifters. There's the regifters. Oh, it's the, thank you. The cupcakes. periodic table of Periodic table of the cupcakes. cupcakes. Very nice. Producer Aaron. Producer Playing Aaron. Aaron. He's such a good piano player. Oh, Aww, that's Santa, that's Santa Rick. Rick. Nice. That was Betsy asking for world this peace. This is my dad <laughs> asking to move to Portland. Oh, my dad. Okay, cute. Oh. Cute, cute, cute. I look kind of tired. <laughs> One of our artists during That's the... Uh, shocking. That is uh, No Good Jones mm -hmm. playing. Jason Maurer on guitar. That's them playing with the artists, creating artwork during their performance. Have, there's an event that I am see that does art while at the event. It's so cool. It's so cool. Uh, the band photo. That is a great photo. Oh, there oh, we have Ryan and Crystal. Oh. And that's it. And that would be the end. That's cool. The very nice. Nice. Thank you. You take fantastic Aaron. photos. You do a great job. Thank you. Yes, but you really know this. And thanks so much. Aaron also, you took, you also took some early photos some promo of Tony and me of that wound up in some advertising and yeah. that kind of thing. That was really helpful. Yeah. Because the other photo he had of the three of us probably wasn't the most helpful Flattering. photo from uh, Yeah, Open it's probably not the image you guys wanted to send I wonder if we can pull that one up. Because it shows just how much Dr. Normal really likes me. Yeah. Get that one what we? got you into photography? What got me Can into we pull photography? Pull it up, please. Doctor Normal knows which one we want. This photo? There really wasn't a. Uh... It's from um, it's from OS Bridge. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an OS Bridge. bridge. It's if you, got if you go, photo. if you find my yeah. OS Bridge Flickr set and look for something with uh, Tarosi and it's probably Kira tagged. And hopefully, <laughs> it's probably favorited like about five or ten. Yeah, I, I know it's in my favorites. So what got me into photography, I actually didn't really start doing photography until I was a little bit older than most people who were like professional photographers. Um, 23, 24. Um, it was, I guess it would have been nine years ago because it was really about the time of my honeymoon after we got married. Um, we rode the train back from Southern California and I started taking a ton of pictures. I've always the been interested train? in railroads. Did yeah, someone say train? That. Oh. And... So I started kind of seriously getting into railroad photography, and then it kind of grew from there into doing photographs of nature and landscapes and people and other things like that. And then eventually, you know, it got to the point where, you know, I was having fun doing it, but people started to comment that they were enjoying my work and asking That's to, you know. a horrible problem to Yeah, have. I know, you know asking yeah, yeah. to hire me. And so it's like, hmm. Maybe I should let them do that. Isn't that nerve-wracking, though, the first time that you get hired for a job? Because it's one thing when you're taking a photo yourself and it doesn't turn out. You're like, wow, that sucks. It's another when someone's yeah. paying you to do a job. I don't know. Was there yeah, that's, and that's kind of one of the things that I talk with people about, you know, should you just have, you know, grandma and grandpa or, you know, the, your buddy who has a DSLR take the photos versus hiring a professional is that, you know, um, yeah, anybody can grab, you know, a $500 DSLR and go shoot, you know, um, you know, 100 photos and get a few really good ones out of it. That's um, the truth. That's, but, that's my strategy. You know, that's how I do. You I take like but if you're know, like producing an awesome. event mm -hmm. or, you know, you're looking for <laughs> commercial photos for your business, um, you don't want that, you know, shoot 100, get a few. You want to, hopefully, you want a professional who can come in and get you some good, you know, reliable, well thought out photos, you know, the, photo? the first time. All right, so. we've got the photo that we don't. Yeah, there we go. My yeah. photos of all time. Yeah. That's an awesome photo. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a I great love that. One. But it was not really the image we wanted to put forth <laughs> well, there yeah. the other day. So, anyway, it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed Thank it. So, and it's a great cause. So. Thank you. Really Thank you. You're up in the coup with me. We need to do a Withy's Pie Night. Yeah, I'm. Greg I needs to, to go have. mobile. He needs to go yeah, mobile. And he's got, uh, he's got, is it Everyone Delivers, Everybody Delivers yeah. is doing delivery yeah. for him now here in Don't Portland. Hard. We need to find yeah. a, uh, a Vancouver, Vancouver connection there. So. 55 minutes. 55 wow. under an hour. Someone to donate go. some money. How much do we have? Let's take a look. I want to get up and walk around. I'm feeling antsy. Yeah, we're close. We are at uh, 3,400. 3,400. Right yep. So with the auction in. money, we're over 4,000. Yes, with the auction, we're easily over 4,000. So that's great. Wouldn't Thank it be peachy so if we could get to 5,000 in the next few minutes? I bet we could get to 5,000 in the next few minutes. I bet people are capable of doing well, that. Oh, I won't, I won't offer you up as auction, <laughs> auction items. We've already been really, offered up as auction items. We extent. are actually on the blah already. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. For what? Okay, tell me more. So is it already is it is it already closed? I think it might already be closed. Well, you should offer it up again for folks so watching online and do it twice. Well, we can't. So like we, like can't we can't because it's a special. Um, oh. oh, sure, the uh, the fancy the yeah. fancy yeah. fancy boat. 
fifteen hundred in auction items ok so nice cool where we're getting we're getting right there so yeah so forty nine hundred we should we should d m p and see if i donate a hundred dollars if he'll let me come along and there we go you should d m you want to be part of the wait staff yeah yeah i could totally deliver drinks yeah yeah i'll make them he's gonna be the waiter i'll make the drinks you can i'll just keep this tux sweet yeah that would be a blast i would really enjoy that yeah um poor pete's like what wait no this wasn't part of the deal like no no i don't see what happens when you put them together because we actually we've been out before what was that for pete oh the paella was popular no 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 We've eaten, we, we're, we're, yeah, no, we ate something. No, it doesn't look super awesome right now. I'm sure it looked uh, awesome. No, no, no. <laughs> this is the epitome of awesome. This is the, what, the leftover, it's the, it's the, 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 fa- the, 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 flotsam and jetsam. Yeah. <laughs> That's leftover. Do we get through all of this? No, we've still got quite a few to go, so I'm going to, I'm going to try and thank you, Aaron, again.